Making cold brew is one of the simplest ways to brew coffee, but it can take up to 24 hours. The increased brew time and lack of heat make the brewing process less volatile and more forgiving than pour-over or espresso, which means you don't need complicated techniques or an elaborate machine. The only things you'll really need are good beans, time, and a simple cold brew maker. Hello guys, today's video we're taking a look at the 4 best cold brew makers that you can get your hand on this year. And if you want more information, we also put the link in the description box down below. Thanks. Starting off our list with number 4, we have the Take It Patented Deluxe Cold Brew Coffee Maker. Despite the low price, the build quality of the Take It is solid, the plastic is durable, and the seals are tight so there was no leaking even when brewing on its side. It comes with 5 by 7.5 by 9.5 inches in size and weight just 1.90 ounces. The Take It is similar to the Coffee Gator Brewer but more affordable, and uses a plastic pitcher instead of glass. When it comes to coffee, plastic and glass don't make a difference in flavor, but glass tends to hold up better over time whereas plastic can become permanently stained after multiple uses. The filter basket and cap on the take is screwed together and then screw onto the pitcher, all impressively tightly. However, one drawback to this design is that it's hard to make sure all of the grounds are properly steeped if the brewer isn't placed sideways per the instructions or shaken throughout the brewing time. There is about an inch of space between the filter and the lid where grounds may become stuck and not exposed to the water for brewing. The take didn't leak at all, but the grounds settled in the top of the lid and fell out when I tried to clean the brewer, which made a bit of a mess. The take comes as a one or two quart pitcher, and the instructions call for about two cups of coarsely ground coffee and filling the pitcher three quarters of the way with water, which by my measurements was about 50 ounces or 1,400 milliliters. I followed the directions and brewed for 12 hours in my refrigerator, producing a tea-like drink. I brewed it for 24 hours and the results were much stronger. Overall, the finished cold brew was very well-rounded and balanced with a sweet, chocolatey flavor on the forefront. The take could easily be used to make a stronger concentrate if left to brew at room temperature as well. Next up at number 3, we have the Toddy Artisan Small Batch Cold Brewer. If space is at a premium in your apartment or fridge, the Toddy Artisan can make great cold brew without taking up much space and also serves as a carafe for serving. The Toddy Artisan is a smaller alternative to the full-size Toddy, but it's just as easy to use. Like its larger counterpart, it made great coffee right away with very little need for any adjustment. The brewer is essentially a glass jar with a silicone lid and it comes with 12 paper filter bags, a metal filter basket, and tongs. The brewer itself doubles as a small carafe for easy storage after brewing. It's the smallest brewer in this list, measuring at 5.75 by 5 by 9.75 inches, and weight at 1.20 pounds make it slightly smaller than a standard mason jar. The Toddy Artisan is simple and easy to use but isn't the sturdiest product. The glass is a little thin and the silicone lid doesn't form a perfect seal, so be careful not to knock it over while it's brewing. This brewer offers the option to brew a concentrate or a ready-to-drink cold brew. Like the full-size toddy, the instructions were easy to follow and the brewing process was intuitive. I was able to achieve great results on my first testing and I brewed my first batch of concentrate according to the instructions for 24 hours at room temperature. It was balanced and slightly chocolatey with low acidity. I also brewed it for 8 hours to try the ready-to-drink version and it also tasted great. It wasn't as sweet and was a bit lighter than the concentrate. Cleanup couldn't be easier since the grounds are neatly contained in the paper filter bag. Once the coffee is allowed to drip from the bag, you just dump out the filter bag with the grounds, rinse off the metal basket, and serve or store the coffee in the glass brewer itself. Up next at the number 2, we have the Coffee Gator Cold Brew Coffee Maker. The Coffee Gator Cold Brewer is a great immersion brewer for cold brew. Its no-frills design makes it accessible and easy to use while allowing for customization. The Coffee Gator has a pretty standard design as far as immersion brewers go, and makes a ready-to-drink cold brew instead of a concentrate for convenience. The design is a glass pitcher with a detachable and reusable filter basket that doubles as a brewer and serving vessel. We was impressed by how sturdy and well-made this brewer is and how tightly fitted all the pieces were, which helped to prevent any leaks. It's a bit smaller than comparable products and fits perfectly in the fridge, measuring 5.5 by 5.5 by 6.5 inches and weight at 1.76 pounds. It disassembles easily and the bottom of the filter basket screws off for easy rinsing, though you want to be a little careful with the thin filter. There was no discoloration after testing the brewer for three times. It's also easy to use as ground coffee goes into the filter basket, then water is poured over the top of the coffee through the hole in the lid. 
The instructions call for about 7 to 5 grams of coffee to 1.1 liters of water, which almost completely fills the brewer. The instructions call for a minimum brew time of 8 hours, but that wasn't nearly enough time for a strong brew. We sampled a bit of the coffee after the recommended 8 hours and found it to be quite weak and more similar to tea. We tried it again after 12 hours and was more pleased with the stronger coffee it produced. It was better developed and some more of the fruity flavor notes came through. For the second round of tests, we let the coffee brew for a full 24 hours in the fridge and it was much stronger but still smooth. The strongest batch was brewed for 12 hours at room temperature. This yielded a well-rounded, sweet and chocolatey cup of cold brew almost as strong as a concentrate. The last product on our list is the Toddy Cold Brew System. The Toddy Cold Brew System makes a strong and flavorful concentrate without any learning curve and up to 28 cups of cold brew. Of all the brewers we've tested, the Toddy Cold Brew System was our favorite because of its intuitive design. The first concentrate we brewed turned out perfect without any learning curve or trial and error. There are two main components to the Toddy Cold Brew System. The brewer itself consists of a plastic brewing container, a gray silicone lid, and a rubber stopper that fits into the bottom. It also comes with a stylish glass carafe and a plastic lid that seals the carafe tightly. It's the perfect size for storing a full batch of concentrate and fits easily in the fridge. With a small size at 7.25 by 7.25 by 12.5 inches and the weight just 1.48 pounds, everything felt sturdy and well-designed. The toddy requires 12 ounces of coffee for brewing a full batch, which is a lot. Please note that it handles 7 cups of concentrate for maximum. We ground the coffee coarsely, covered it with 7 cups of water, left it at room temperature for 24 hours and came back to a perfectly brewed concentrate that tasted rich and full. Felt filters and paper filters are included. When using the paper filter, the coffee grounds are placed in the paper before adding the water. With the felt filter, you put the grounds directly in the tank. We tried both and didn't notice much difference between the drinks, but someone might. Sepatati somewhere it won't easily be knocked over. The silicone lid doesn't seal well and the unit tips easily.